The wait is finally over. Radis, the brother of Goku, is finally coming to Galaxy of Heroes. The Radis, insert corny joke here, is now coming to Galaxy of Heroes. That is the capital ship that was captained by Leia Organa and then later by Vice Admiral Holdo is now coming and we knew that it was coming we know that the finalizer is coming but today we got some information on what is going to be required in order to get the ship and not only what is required but how we are going to obtain the ship so let's go ahead and get started as we dive into the radis <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Finity with Reality Skewed Gamers, and we are here to talk about the Radis. Now, we just got a post by Crumb talking about how the Radis is going to be introduced. Now, it's not just the Radis, although we only got details about the Radis so far, but it is also about the finalizer and how they are going to be introduced. They're going to be introduced in a new game mode that's basically an event sort of thing that we're calling the Advanced Fleet Mastery Admiral's Maneuver. Now, the Advanced Fleet Mastery is a little bit of a play on the existing Fleet Masteries. And if you're wondering, where have I heard the Fleet Masteries before? Fleet Masteries are the way that we acquired the Executrix, Home One, and Endurance. These are a two-event type of setup, where the first one gives you the unlock, and the second one gives you bonus shards every time they come around. And they come around at around a rate of once a month. Now this new Advanced Fleet Mastery is going to keep about that same cadence. So as we read into this, first off, Crumb talks about a little bit about what the Advanced Fleet Mastery is going to be. We talked about it. Now one of the things that's different about the Advanced Fleet Mastery versus the existing Fleet Masteries is that the Advanced Ones are going to mix ships from different eras. So when we first got something like the Home One, we were looking at Rebel ships, but not for this. This is going to be a mix of all different eras with specific ships that you will have to use. Now, when you're looking at the capital ships, we have the Radis and the Finalizer, again, with the two different types of events. The first set of events is going to be to completely uh, finish the four tiers and that will give you an unlock of the capital ship at four stars. Now, if you look at how this is tiered up, the four tiers are going to be all of the required ships at four star, then five star, six star, and seven star. Simple enough. Now, the best part about this, any capital ship can do. You don't have to use any particular one. Any capital ship will do for this. So anything you've worked on, boom, they are already ready there for you. Now you'll unlock it at four star and then once a month you will get another tier, another event that will pop up that will get you 10 blueprints for the ship. And so your capital ship will grow at a rate of about 10 shards per month until eventually you get the unlock. Now the time that they're running is going to be one to two times a month. Again, depending a little bit on the week schedule, it sounds like probably going to be about once every four weeks is what this is probably meaning more so than anything else but they also said that the frequency can be adjusted now let's take a look at what the required ships are the required ships for the radis are raise millennium falcon resistance x-wing poe dameron's x-wing houndstooth ebon hawk ahsoka tano's jedi fighter and lando's millennium falcon and let's take a look at what's really going to be entailed in getting this capital ship when we take a look at which ships are going to be needed a lot of these ships are already ships that hopefully many of you are working on. Houndstooth is still pretty much the gold standard for tanky ships. If you're not working on it, this is a good one to work on. Not to mention that Bosk is also a good character because he's a bounty hunter and you're going to need him for things like Chewie, plus the bounty hunters is a good faction. So this is a ship that actually should be one that you're farming and should be pretty simple. Ray's Millennium Falcon, a little bit on the downslope now. It never really had a great place in the ships. However, the two characters involved, Stick Ray and OG Finn, they both used to have a place but are now shifting away as we're getting more resistance characters and unsure where they're going to fit in. So how much you're going to need to actually get the Radis, we'll have to see. Typically, it was not too high in terms of the requirements, but the Advanced Mastery is going to be different than the regular Feet Mastery, so we don't know what is going to be needed in terms of gear and level of the ships so get ready to potentially work on these a little bit but maybe even something less than what i have on mine right now which are gear 11 you may be able to get by with less than that if you max out the rest of the ship lando's millennium falcon 
a great reinforcement ship. One of the best to bring in in the fourth spot because of all the bonuses that it gets with his reinforcement. Lando's Millennium Falcon, one that is wor worth working on. Now, for the pilots of that ship, Young Lando is a little bit of a niche character, but L3 is a pretty good tank. So again, one of these where you can work on the character and the ship at the same time and get an overall benefit to your roster. Ahsoka Tano's Jedi Fighter. Not too much has to be said about that. Ahsoka is awesome in a Padme team. She should be worked on. Ahsoka's team is Ahsoka's ship is awesome under the negotiator. So that ship should be worked on. So both of those are awesome ones to work on and should be top priority. Eben Hawk, the character's a little bit of a lower priority, and also a decent reinforcement for the Eben Hawk as well. May not be your most utilized, but you can find purpose for it. May not be the best one for you to farm immediately, but if you're trying to go for this, get it to 7 star, and then let's wait to see what the gear requirements are going to be on the characters to really push your chips through to get the Radis. Pose X-Wing, still maybe my most favorite reinforcement ship in this game, and so I would definitely farm that because... Of course, again, I'm pretty partial to Pose X-Wing. So you do want to farm Pose X-Wing. And then Resistance X-Wing may be the biggest waste of all of them. Just because Resistance Pilot doesn't have a place. The ship really doesn't have a place. So this one you do want to try and keep as minimal as possible. Remember, get it to 7 stars. 7 star Resistance X-Wing is not too bad. So get it to 7 star first. And then let's wait and see what happens with the gear. Now something to look at from all of what we're seeing right now. Notice if we go to the ships and we look at all of the resistance ships only, notice how all three of the resistance ships currently in the game are required for the Radis. So because they're required for the Radis, we can now think a little bit more about what is going to be required for the finalizer. Since the finalizer is also going to be a advanced fleet mastery ship, when we look at first order ships, we can now realize that you probably need the four First Order ships at 7 star. Now, these are all pretty good ships in their own right. TIE Silencer, Kylo's Command Shuttle, and First Order TIE Fighter, I have found huge uses for. First Order Special Forces is definitely a good one, although I never really worked on Special Forces, the character, so I didn't utilize it because otherwise it becomes a little bit too squishy. Even then, all of these are good ships. And so if you want to start working on the ship to 7 star 2, what the Radis requirements have told us is that because all of the resistance ships were used for the Radis, we can now pretty much assume, and a lot of us had this speculation, that all of the First Order ships are going to be needed to get the finalizer. So now we got some details about the capital ships. We're still waiting to figure out who the commander is going to be for the Radis. There's a lot of theories out there. Is it going to be Holdo? Are they going to introduce a new Leia character? Could it potentially be the first two commander ship with both Holdo and a new or Leia Organa? Lots of different options here. Still waiting on the abilities of the ship, but it is always a good idea to get your ships and characters to 7 star, and this gives you a little bit more indication of which ones you want to focus on. So hopefully that helps you with your preparations as you look forward to the new Radis and the upcoming new finalizer. We'll continue to wait for some, some more information from Crumb. And with that, I, Infinity with Reality Skewed Gamers, signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that if you are looking for more content, check out some of the videos of ours on the left over here. And then also make sure you subscribe if you haven't using the little icon below. I can tell you that I had a bunch of other corny jokes planned out about a radish and grocery shopping and all of that kind of stuff, but I, I had to cut that out in the interest of time.